I wound up taking a taxi to uh, Hacienda, Hacienda de Cortez, which was a fantastic hotel. Um, a lot of old architecture there. It was built in, I think, the 1500s at, at some time. It was Or later in the 16th yeah. century. Um, and I highly recommend it. You know, in, if you go to Corner Block and go check this place out, it is just spectacular. It's huge. Uh, uh, the buildings were amazing. The, uh, art the grounds. Is, the, uh, the grounds, the landscaping is fantastic. And it just seems to go on and on and on. So Paulette was looking around online this morning and found this place called Hacienda de Cortez. It's a hotel, restaurant, spa. And, and spa. Yeah, the, the grounds are supposed to be spectacular. So. Uh, we came out here and we're going to check it out, check it out so far. It Took looked, a taxi here. Yeah. Uh, probably a good thing we did. There was a lot of side streets involved and um, we would have probably got lost walking oh, many sure. times. So we're going to give you a little bit of a tour, do a panoramic view of where we're standing right now. Dead end, but it was fun walking <laughs> to the dead end. journey of we don't know where we're going. Right. And in case we get lost, you'll have some video evidence if we need to be found. That's right. So here are some pretty cool looking arches right here.
by walking around here, these grounds just seem to go on and on and on. There's all these little passageways that take you to different places. Oh, this is crazy tree root here. We'll start at the bottom and pan up, which is growing alongside of a cement wall. And it just reaches for the sky. Crazy roots just come out of the wall. I know, that's amazing. And go all the way up.
Well, was it everything you were hoping it yeah, would be when you saw it online? Actually. How about you, honey? It's a fantastic place. I mean, the, the grounds just keep going on and on and on. I know. And, and you know, think about it. 16th century, this is just amazing. Yeah. 400 years or maybe even 500 years old and it's still standing. It's just gorgeous. I mean, it, a lot of it's missing, but they've done a fantastic job of... Yeah. Uh, the grounds are just the, fabulous. The design or the redesign of this building to add the hotel and uh, the landscaping here is fantastic. We didn't stay there, but we, we kind of looked at what it was cost, and it was over what at a hundred dollars a night. I think or it was like a hundred. I want to say like it was that. like 140, 160 a night, mm -hmm. somewhere like that. I think 120 to 160 a night, and the grounds yeah. again were just. It was like being back in time. I mean, ancient time. It was. It was just beautiful. Everywhere we yeah. went, we thought it couldn't get any better, mm -hmm. and it did. It was just. It was just phenomenal. Yeah, if you're into landscaping and horticulture, it would just be your probably your own personal Shangri-La. Yeah. There. Plus, I mean, the old 1600, mm -hmm. you know, um, architect of the buildings and stuff like mm -hmm. that was just incredible. We ended up taking a taxi there for 50 pesos, which is like um, roughly two dollars and fifty cents. Yeah, and then <clears throat> we ended up catching the local bus back. Mm -hmm. about the local buses is it is that they take you through neighborhoods that you probably normally wouldn't drive through. <laughs> surrounding areas or, or wherever you might be visiting here in Mexico and it's Cuernavaca was that way, Morelia is that way um, and you know the other cities that we visited were that way too so um, just for fun try taking one of the local combis or as I sometimes call them here colectivos and, and ride those around for a little bit. Yeah or the or the local buses I think there's a little bit more air on the, the big local buses rather than the um, combis because uh, I think you're packed in more mm -hmm. on the combis and the windows don't open as much as they do yeah. on the regular buses. Yeah, if you get a lot of people in there, it can't be warm. Yeah. So, you know, it's just a, it was a great experience. Um, are we going to go back? We certainly are. Yeah, we, we're going to go back at least mm -hmm. two, two more times, I think. Um, we ate at this one restaurant that was called La Universal, and um, it was nice. We met yeah. we met uh, one of the waiters there mm -hmm. that ended up being now a friend of ours. Yeah. Uh, we didn't budget real well. We didn't take enough cash, so we ended up eating at restaurants that took our that credit card. Used a credit card. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you know, if we found like the second one that we found was really good, like I said, La Universal. 
um, it was pretty reasonable in price and the surroundings, I mean, you couldn't beat sitting outside right mm -hmm. across from the park and yeah. in the historical area. It was just, gosh, it was just picturesque. It was. Yeah. The view from our dinner table tonight. Smile, honey, you're on camera. I'm eating a colada with no alcohol tonight because I had a tummy problem in the middle of the night and I think it's from the alcohol. I had some margaritas last night. That's where I'm going with anyhow. So no There's... alcohol. Alcohol is right here on the side to give to my waiter when he gets off of work. <laughs> Well, here's a non-alcoholic cheers to you. And there's my second pina colada. Two for one special tonight. So we're here in the Zocalo de Cuernavaca. As you notice, there's a you know, live performance going on here. There are families out with their kids in the park. And this is not an unusual event. This happens in Zocalos and Parques all across Mexico every month, pretty much. It doesn't matter the day or anything like that. It's just a, an amazing experience the way that these people go right there. If you like what we're doing, please subscribe and click the bell and you'll be notified every time that we put out a new video.